Hey, it's Chase with Blue Iguana Pools here. I, I wanted to talk to you guys about Intermatic pool timers. Um, about, about 70 to percent of our pools have Intermatic pool timers. And a lot of people aren't quite sure how they work or how to turn them on or how to fix them or how to know if they're broke. Um, I do have a funny story. As a pool guy and cleaning about 20 to 25 pools a day, um, you get, you, you get pretty quick at turning pumps on and emptying baskets out and your hands are always wet. And these timers not always have this little guard for the electrical. The electrical, usually from the sun, this guard will uh, kind of break away and you'll lose it because it gets sun rot. And then you have all your electrical wires down here. So one day, as I was flipping on the pump after I just cleaned out the basket, I re reached out here to turn the switch on and it electrocuted me, scared me to death. And then I realized we need to, you need to make sure that you have these protective plates on all of your timers. If you don't, we can get them for you um, or you can get them online. But these Intermac timers are kind of the original timers. Uh, still quite a, quite a few of these. The way you turn it on is just from this on off toggle switch right here. Um, to know what current time is on the timer is right underneath this silver arrow. And then if your power turns off or your breaker shuts off or you turn the power onto your house and you need to adjust this time, you just literally grab the dial and pull it out and you can adjust it to the right time. Um, and then on off switch, and then how do you know if it's not working? Cause you can't just sit there and stare at it and wait for it to change time. But if you look back through here, it has a little peak hole and you'll see gears. And the gears go to this motor back here. If those gears are not moving, then you need a new timer. And so that's just a quick reference uh, for our guys out in the field to know if the gears are working. We always tell them to just look through the hole, see if you see it moving, if they're moving, then the gear, the, the timer's working. If they're not moving, the timer's not working. Um, and then it rotates clockwise, and then you it comes with two pins. And you can put multiple pins on these timers to have it run two different times a day, or just eight hours at night. But you would put your on pin, and it just fits on, it has a little screw right on the top, Didn't unscrew it before and you just stick it on wherever you want it screw it down tight not too tight or it actually bends the pins you don't want to bend the pin uh, I've seen people use um, pliers to screw them down so they don't move and then they end up bending the pin and it doesn't work and then you just set your off time to eight hours or however long you want to run your pool and it should your timer should kind of look like this as when it should turn on and off. If you need to rotate it to the correct time, just pull it out and twist it. But it's Chase with Blue Iguana Pools here. If you guys have any questions, call me. Um, if you need any repairs, call us. Uh, thank you for all you guys do. We'll talk to you later.